Hi, I'm Amelia Larkin, a pro here at La Jolla Beach and Tennis Club. Uh, today we're going to talk about your preparation with your unit turn and how you follow through using the anchor foot. All right, we're going to get Clark to come out here and hit a few balls to talk about the unit turn. Now, with the unit turn, the very important part is to avoid being counterproductive. If you step forward while you take your racket back, there's no weight loaded up to go into the shot. What we're going to have Clark do instead is he's going to go ahead and get his right foot and his right hand back together so that he can load and unload it all together. Let's take a look. Right and left. Here we go and again rotate back and forward. What that also does is if the ball comes deep, Clark has given himself space and time to react. Now the next thing we want to talk about is Clark's right foot and what it's going to do during the shot. This is his anchor foot. So whether he's just turning immediately to the unit turn and going to step and hit, or if he's going to run, either way he's going to come up and push off into the run or push off into the next step. All right. So what we're going to see is that nice body weight transfer onto his back foot. Back front. Nice. Now, what we notice about his anchor foot is, does it stay stiff as you would picture an anchor? Well, let's think about the chain of an anchor. It must sway with the ocean. It's got to stay with the motion. All right. So right now, what Clark is going to show you is adding a little flare to your follow through by loosening your ankle with the motion of the follow through. Here we go. So the anchor gets set and loosens. And again, he's going to stay down as he relaxes his heel. Very nice body weight transfer into the shot. Thanks for coming out today and having a look at how to add some flair while keeping your balance on your forehand. Good luck out on the courts and we'll see you soon.